So guys, the first Sunday Life eviction show just happened. And if you were not paying attention, there's a lot of information that went over people's head. But luckily, I paid attention. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down everything that went on during the Life eviction show that people might have missed. I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. I know what we do here. We get big brother, we table, I give you update of everything that is going on in the show. So make sure that you watch this video from now to the video and so you don't miss out on the details of everything that went on during the live eviction show. And as you are watching, be a member of this great community. Subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel. Give us a like and let me hear your thoughts about this Sunday Night Live eviction show. The first Sunday Life eviction show in the history of Big Brother Niger season 9. That saw a housemate leave. Guys, we are down to 26 housemates. Yes, you heard me right. We are down to 26 housemates and one housemate have left the show. But in a fashion that they left the show is something that I'm not happy with. I am here to talk about it because... I live for transparency. I want to see everything out in the open. If you are voting who, let us see it out in the open. If you are evicting who, let us see it out in the open. That is one way that I'm not. That is why I said I am angry with this Sunday Life eviction show. I don't like how Big Brother went with it. But at the end of the day, it is the show and we have to go with whatever the show promoters give us and the show organizers give us. So, Without further ado, let us jump into how this uh, Sunday Life eviction show went. It went with Ebuka coming in, doing his greeting, his normal, how are you, how are you? Went straight into the house and asked the housemaid a couple bit of questions. And the first housemaid that got his question was the head of house. Ebuka congratulated them for being the first brand new head of house of this season. After congratulating him, he went on to ask them a fun question that i'm like if that is not the kind of question you should have asked we want you to shake table but it feels like it is super early according to him because he's in a good mood so it is super early and he's also in a good mood so that's why he didn't check any table so what is the question he asked he asked them by the way to is okay you were the head of house and throughout your reign it seems like you uh, most of this housemate kind of brought the heat to you guys which of these housemates brought more heat to you guys? I'm talking about the likes of Shinne and all, all sort of housemates, uh, Dami, all sort of that. Which of the housemates brought more heat to you? And uh, Ozzy kind of said that none of the housemates brought heat to him. He kind of used one English word that I've, I've, forgotten, to, I've forgotten to write it down, that, uh, it's, uh, that all the worst goals that happened kind of brought them together to move along and so, kind of create harmony or something. I've forgotten what he said, but that's not why we are here. So after talking to Ozzy, Ebuka went on to make it. I did a live immediately this housemate ended the tax challenge on friday that big brother gave them where i asked why was mickey crying immediately he he was done with his tax presentation he did an amazing job when they were presenting so why did he start crying immediately and today it's like ebuka had the question and ebuka wanted to clarify things up and asked him mickey you had an amazing performance why were you crying immediately why did you cry immediately you ended your uh, task and mickey was like Ebuka, the reason why I broke down is because of my life experiences. And I'm like, oh, okay, I think I have an, I think I, I know what he is talking about. And it's all because of how bulky he is. And knowing the type of dance that Mickey and uh, his friend, Femi David, dance, it's a contemporary dance. And how bulky. And uh, uh, Mickey is a macho man. And macho men are, according to Mickey's word, are only known for being bouncers and nothing else in Nigeria. For him to be a macho man, a muscle boy, a gym bro, and also be into contemporary dancing, that Nigerians are not taking his talent the right way. That, that, that was why he started crying immediately. He saw that, okay, housemates are vibing with his kind of dancing and housemates are liking it. That's why he ended up crying and i'm like okay mickey we hear you you give a nice performance next time please don't cry don't shed uh, crocodile tears we know that you've uh, been through life we know all that things but please don't cry so after that big brother spoke to the housemaid so during the big brother time of speaking to the housemaid big brother uh answered the question that we've been waiting 
to be answered for the last week since monday big brother gave the head of the custodian a box that they've kept secure inside the house and people have been speculating what is inside that box and today we now have the answer to what is inside the box so inside our box we already know that this housemate have the power to influence the game to influence the outcome of today but we don't know to what extent but today we finally got to know that inside that box is the housemate's ability to save one housemate that is up for possible eviction and guys know that throughout this week we the viewers has been tasked to vote and on sunday the housemate with the least the four housemates or the four pairs with the least number of votes we are called up for possible eviction and guys it is going to be a shocker i'm talking about housemates that we didn't see coming especially me i didn't see it coming because this housemate have been in our faces this housemate have been bringing us drama so i don't know maybe they are not delivering what people are interested in i still don't know why they were up for possible eviction but i'm talking about tammy i'm talking about the streets i'm talking about the shakers and i'm talking about the radicals so these are the four housemates with the least number of votes and guys immediately a booker called out these four housemates you can feel the panic in the eyes of the housemate like most of them we are not expecting somebody to leave today so for Ebuka to call that for housemate, and the way Ebuka put it is like he didn't say that the house, the all the housemates we have voted for. Ebuka kind of tricked them into thinking that we the viewers voted who we want to see out of the house. That was one of the twists Ebuka used on this housemate, and it made a lot of them lose guard. Because at the end of the day, this is the season where you are not supposed to lose guard. Because at the end of the day, this is not the season where you are supposed to lose guard. But immediately, Ebuka said that he felt like this housemate lost guard and uh, people started being in their emotion. Oh, okay, so maybe I'm doing something. This is why this housemate, uh, this is why the viewers are not liking me. This is why the viewers are trying to vote me out. And some of them started crying. Big Brother hasn't said the most important part. So they kind of cry and like, wait a little bit, let Big Brother uh, land. So Big Brother made the instruction that the housemate that has saved for possible eviction that are not up for possible eviction will be the housemate that he will call into the diary room guys big brother is going to call all the housemates that are up for possible that are safe from possible eviction into the diary room fair after fair to nominate who they would like to send home but before that we have already opened the mystery box that big brother gave the custodian and inside that mystery box is the power to save one pair so with that power didn't the pair saved the radical and i'm like wow the way the indian pairs are moving guys the way the indian pairs are moving the indian pairs are moving in a shadow and these housemates are not seeing it these housemates are not grasping the kind of power the indian pairs have imagine crowning the first ever head of house on monday and then on sunday you had the power to save a housemate guys didn't the pair had them but were twins here have the radicals here so imagine the Indian pair here the radicals here and then but were twins here all three of these pair forming an alliance that would that would be the talk of the big brother house but i would i love to see that as most definitely i would love to see that alliance happen but you never know what is inside this housemate's mind but uh, let's keep moving so after they saved the, the radicals we were now left with these trees Tammy and checkers and guys it was at that moment that I noticed how brilliant, how intelligent, and how smart Onyeka was. Onyeka, throughout this week, has been putting him, herself in the minds of this housemate, bonding with all the housemates. But to her, it felt like, no, that it didn't go a long way. So what did she do? Immediately, she uh, learned that this housemate will be the people in charge of sending one person home. Onyeka started crying, yo, Onyeka started shedding tears, uncontrollable tears. And I'm like, yo, this girl is so smart. This girl is so smart. See all the housemates coming to her, giving her a hug, telling her to calm down, not to cry. Unknowingly to them, Onyeka is working their psyche. Onyeka is using a, a, another strategy to brainwash them, please. I'm, I, 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 I'm volatile, please don't send me. This is my vulnerable state, please save me. Yo, that was the only thing this housemate could see. Someone 
who is on a verge of living, begging them to please save them. And in their mind, they felt like they had the power. In their mind, they felt like, oh, we are saving this. Not knowing that Onyeka is putting herself in their, mam in their mind. Onyeka is using uh, Charles Xavier's brainwash system to brainwash this housemaid. And they are not getting it. And at the end of the day, what happened? One after the other, big brother called this housemaid into the diary room. And this is where I had issue. Because I'm that kind of person that believes in transparency. Big brother, you've already told us that you call this housemaid into the diary room to give us uh, names of housemates that they would like to send home. Big brother, why are you not showing it to us? Big brother should have showed us this housemate how they how they voted so we will know okay these are people that are betraying who this is who is betraying who this is who is forming an alliance with who but uh, i think uh tomorrow or maybe on tuesday during their diary section big brother will get back to them and ask them who they voted and why they voted so we'll wait on thursday if that happens i'll be sure to drop the update but so far the housemate came in their numbers voted and after the vote Ibuka got the result and the housemate that were evicted guys the first housemate to be evicted in the season of in big brother niger season nine we are the tamis yes the combination of toyosin to and damilola and when they went out to the stage when Ibuka was asking them the question uh, toyosin was like she was not disappointed at all with how the housemate voted and then can ask her why? why why are you not disappointed and she was like since this week dami has been on the bad books of all these housemates so i kind of anticipated i kind of had a feeling that because of that they will vote so in dami's defense dami was like when toyosin told me that this housemate uh putting me in their bad books i'm like okay i need to do something i need to change up my game i need to change up my game plan what did i do i apologized but at the end of the day, my apology didn't go a long way. So, am I surprised that I'm evicted? No. And Ebuka asked them, okay, what is it that we'll be expecting? What are you going into now that you're out of the house? So, Tammy kind of made a comment that broke my heart. Tammy said, Ebuka, I was not expecting to leave this soon. So, to answer that question, I don't know. And I'm like, oh. But uh, she went on and said that, when she goes out of the world, she will see how the world is going to receive her and what she will go into after. And for Dami, Dami said that she will go back into the nightlife. And guys, I thought the show has ended. That was when Ebuka made a comment that most people are not going to understand. That comment is the real definition of no lose guard. Because when Ebuka was saying something to the housemate, you know his final goodbyes to the housemaid, he told them to play the game, that uh, some of them are just sitting idle while their partner is carrying them, that some of them brought their A game throughout last week, while some of them gave zero over ten. And then Ebuka said something, guys. Let me read something that Ebuka said. Ebuka was telling this housemaid that seeing Tammy evicted on Sunday came as a shock to them, but it is for them to know that the show have started and that eviction like this will keep happening on Sundays. And guys, here is the word. And sometimes out of Sunday. So guys, what this means is that we might be sleeping, we might be watching the show, and if we just come in on any day and evict any housemate. So guys, I just thought I should brought this because a lot of people are not going to catch that statement made by Ebuka towards the closing of the show. So I just want to bring it to you and let you deal with this statement the way you see it. So whenever you feel like your fav or if you haven't chosen any fav yet, whenever someone you are vibing with is up for possible eviction, all you have to do is keep voting. Make sure you vote. Because we might not wait till Sunday to see them get evicted from the show. With that said, guys, I'll be dropping my voice here and I would love you to continue this conversation under the comment section below. So let me know what are your thoughts with this week's eviction show. Did you enjoy it? Because I enjoyed it. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comment section. And also, like this video, subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel and be a member of this great community. I will see you guys on the next video.